yesterday. So there's great news, which is that because of the laws that were passed under President Biden, he's really obsessed with climate. He's also obsessed with lowering costs for people. Jennifer Granholm, United States Secretary of Energy, wants us to have electric army tanks. Do you support the military adopting that EV fleet by 2030? I do, and I think we can get there. <laughs> so one of the biggest things that you can do is to be able to weatherize your home, and there are tax credits associated with doing that. So, for example, if you want to install windows that don't leak out the, you know, the heat in the, in the winter and the cold in the summer, you can get a tax credit for that. As they say, as my grandkids say, Google it. You can get a tax credit for installing a heat pump instead of if your HVAC goes out. If you weather as your home, you can save about 30% on your energy bill. Great. Mm -hmm. The second thing that people can consider is their transportation, meaning if they switch over, if, you know, if you're in the market for a new car and you decide you want to look at electric vehicles, or hybrid. this is the time, or hybrid, or hybrid, hybrid. hybrid electric, you can get a $7,500 tax credit at the dealer if the car is made in the United States. Or if the car is made in the United States. Imagine that. Wow. And if you're driving that car, I know some of you have electric vehicles, mm -hmm. in terms of the price at the gas pump, oh. it costs you right now, on average, to fill up an average tank is about 55 bucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you uh, charge it, it's for, to go the same distance, it's between 15 and $30, depending on the kind of charger wow, you use. Wow, wow. Not a joke. Yeah, in Absolutely. fact, the president's goal is to get 500,000 electric vehicle charging stations across the country mm -hmm. to take away the range anxiety that people feel of not being able to find a place to charge. As a new report reveals that not a single, not a single electric vehicle charger has been fully installed from that $7.5 billion set aside for those chargers in Joe Biden's Infrastructure Act. Over half the country hasn't even applied for funds to build them. To install windows, that installing a heat pump. You know, if you're in the market for a new car, to look at electric vehicles, oh. they're looking at ways to like be able to pull down a charger from a street light. Right. Yeah. And reduce your carbon pollution. Oil and grime. Oil and oh my God. Oh.